willkommen in Alpenmarkt. Et bienvenue, les amis de Ski Chrono, chez Atomic. Allez, on y va. In a year, we produce, including Nordic skis, roughly 450,000 pairs here in Alpenmarkt. So 350 Alpine and about 100,000 pairs of Nordic skis. The second plant is in Bulgaria, in Cepilare. It's, a, it's an own uh, manufacturing place there as well, which is owned by us. And there we produce another 900,000 pairs. So all in all, roughly 1.3 million pairs of skis a year. We have full capacity, full production time. It's roughly 850 people working here in Altman. Since we do most of our stuff by ourselves, we not just only produce the skis, we also manufacture the molds, we take care about the machinery, so if something is not working, it's, everything is done internally. In the production, basically, uh, there is one department taking care about all the individual products, in all the individual materials. So there's a department which is doing all the graphic work, there's a department which is taking care about the raw materials. Once all the raw materials are basically prepared, uh, all those materials get shipped to the press where the ski gets built. So once the, the raw materials end up at the production place, there's basically one guy assembling the ski, like putting all the different, la different layers into the mold. This takes the Depending on the construction type, so the assembling process takes roughly 13 minutes per ski, so 26 minutes for a pair. In the same time, uh, this, the, the, the previous ski he has assembled is in the mold, in the, in, the, in the mold and in the press actually, so it gets pressed. After that step, all the skis get grinded, fine-tuned, quality check and ready to be sent to the warehouse. is working in the building in this building here is somehow connected to skiing so either have a, has a racing background or has a, a traditional skiing background so a lot of passion and and uh, motivation to build the best products this year we, we give our our employees the possibility to have an extended noon break we have a two hours lunch break and if somebody wants to Nordic ski touring ski or alpine ski actually could potentially go in winter every day on snow because there are quite a few skiers around the factory here so it takes you three minutes you're at the, at the lift at the entrance of the lift it's definitely a good place to be a good place to work Having another good year, um, we had already 2018 our record year, and this year we're like we will definitely overdo it, and uh, we will uh, pass the 200 million hurdle uh, revenue hurdle this year, uh, growing double digit another double digit growth this year. So we're really happy with the situation, and um, looking forward. Uh, he is a contract, uh, a, a, he is a, a leader uh, for us, he is continuing um, uh, advertising Atomic globally and um, he has very strong fields of competence, uh, especially in R&D, uh, product development and we will use him for that and that's what he loves too. So I think he can add uh, an important piece of our strategy.
We are, uh, we are uh, also growing in the, in the French market. It's a very important uh, market for us and we called it out three years ago that we want to uh, sh uh, show also growth in, uh, in, in, in the French market. Uh, there are beautiful ski areas. There is uh, uh, consumers which are really interesting. It's an international market. Uh, France is uh, attracting a lot of international people traveling towards the, the Alps and we want to have a stronger position there. We are investing in the French market because it's a focus market. We are back in the ski pool. Uh, we will have uh, two, three, four uh, World Cup races. We have some now, but we will increase our investments in the next two to three years. Uh, we are in our actually brand new Atomic Experience Center and uh, to make it very exact we are right in the middle of the atomic history. Of course Atomic is a very big big part of the Austrian uh, ski racing history. It uh, has been a member of the Austrian um, ski pool since, since forever actually. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of successful racers uh, have been racing on Atomic also for Austria, of course, but not only for Austria, uh, also for uh, many, many, many different countries. So racing and atomic is definitely a big, big part of the skiing history, not only in Austria, but I think all over the world. Actually, it didn't change too much. <laughs> it's like, for us, it's like 100% um, uh, passion and, and work about racing. It was before with Marcel, it still is, so it's just different names using the skis and Marcel is not there anymore, mm -hmm. but uh, plenty of, plenty of uh, other racers who at least try to, to fill these big footsteps of Marcel and for us it's not a big difference, we're still working full gas and uh, try to give our best. Since last year, we are again a full member of the French ski pool, so we are definitely ready to go all in on the French uh, racing team. We, of course, it's not it's not so easy. It's not like you go there and, and say, "Hey, we are here. We want to have all those racers." So we, you have to get um, the trust back from the racers. You have to find some racers. Uh, which can, can show uh, that Atomic is competitive, is doing a good job in treating racers well and uh, giving good service to the racers. We started uh, last spring uh, with our first World Cup racer in France. It's uh, Blaise Giesendanner, who switched to Atomic in spring and that's, that's our first step uh, back into the French racing uh, business.